Well, hi. We've come back to another Monday. As I adjust my mic. Goes up and downs, ebb and flows, the weeks as it goes. You know? Anyway. Uh, as I've stated before on Friday's video, we are doing Alaska. And just like not last time, I am actually going to maybe talk a little bit about the uh, state and therein. I don't know how many people actually know about Alaska or any of the states in general, but I know that most of the viewership seems to be coming from outside the United States. So while I know a lot of American culture permeates the entire world, I thought, you know what, I'll uh, try to fill people in a little bit. You know, I'm not, I'm not giving you completely like a huge info dump, just general stuff. Um, doing the map for this one, it tried not to do photospheres and some other stuff too, but also keep in mind, this is a big goddamn state. Um, you can Google like maps of uh, of Alaska compared to the lower 48, and it is stupidly big. Like everyone talks about Texas is huge. Like even with the way that the the certain at globes or maps actually show how uh, fucked up uh, some size of land masses are. Like you know, you look at Greenland; it seems like it's huge. It's really not. Alaska's big. Um, or before it was part of the U.S., it was Russian, called Russian America, I believe. Uh, I need to take a drink of my uh, kombucha. I don't have any um, Alaskan drink or anything like that. Um, never been here. It's a massive goddamn state. Um, it was the 49th state. And also, it's the 48th largest population. It's a not very populated state. And it is very much the least densely populated state. It's crazy. A lot of this is just wilderness. And that's pretty goddamn cool. I have a friend who is living. I gotta figure out where the hell this is. I got a friend who lives up in, uh, I believe it's Anchorage. Or it's Juneau. It's either one of those two. And if you hear anybody tell you about um, other oh, Seoul, Dotona, okay, and then Kenai should be right there, okay. City of Kenai. So we are. Where's Crooked Creek? This got to be Crooked, Crook, Crooked Creek. Can I? Can I see? I'm gonna, I'm gonna click like here, and maybe this will. Maybe this is it. This is Sterling Highway. I'm looking for Crooked. Crooked Creek, but I don't think I'm gonna. Crooked Creek, okay. Nice, okay, I think we might be on this campground thing. State rec site, that is not this. I'm gonna click, like, down here. I think I'm, like, whatever this thing was called. Zoom out and recenter and refocus. I think I got a pretty good idea where we are. Um... Speed limit 20 because there's a school. Okay. Um, it's the northernmost state, clearly. We'll zoom out a bit. If you just need a point of reference here. Look at look at how far up it is compared to like Iceland and all the other places. It's up there. Capital is Juneau. And there are no roads actually leading in and out of Juneau. Um... It's weird. The only way to really access it from outside the city is by boat. It's crazy. Oh, I ran out of time. Holy shit. Look at me. Just being lucky as fuck. This one may not be as fortunate because this looks to be out there. Barren. A lot of tundra. Scrubland. A lot of oil up here. Uh, lots of natural resources. I can't make that out. Anyway, my friend who lives up here, um, he'll tell you, and anyone else will tell you, if you ever come up to Alaska in the summer, just be prepared to 
understand the second you step outside, you will be assaulted, uh, destroyed by mosquitoes. You know, they have a very short amount of time to actually do anything up there, and all the bugs there make very good use of that time. And it, it's just awful what he tells me. All right, Fairbanks is 420 miles. I kind of have a idea now. I just need to find Coltfoot, and then I'll kind of have a... um like a circle, a line I can work from. Now I just have a very long mile away place to go to try to find it. Um, Denali, uh, the tallest mountain in North America is in Alaska. Uh, I just knew it, Mount McKinley, and then I forgot. Where is Coldfoot? Uh, the capital, anyway. Juneau is named after some Quebecois named Joe Juno. Apparently he'd had to have done something. Coldfoot, okay. Slope Mountain Camp. So we're up here in Christ, I don't know. This is uh This is very much nothing. There was a movie not too long ago. It was about vampires or something at, and they only attacked at night, but they because a lot of the winter, there's no sun up here. That was kind of like the thing, so they were just ruling forever until summer came along. Hmm. It wasn't bad. It was very much a, uh, like a B-movie type thing. Gaze of the Arctic National Park and Reserve. Is it, where is cold? Like, I feel maybe if I come in close enough, I'll look for Slope Mountain Camp, if it'll actually say, but I really think that's just a, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be this far away. Coldfoot. How many people live in Coldfoot? Because Coldfoot Camp, Slate Creek Inn. Like, I'm sure a lot of this stuff, like the picture you saw in the previous place, closes down for non, uh, non-summer times. Because I'm sure it's just very unforgiving up here. There's, like, the Discovery Channel... Pretty much since um, the year 2000. If it wasn't um, that Chopper show, it was all about Deadliest Catch and people who fish over here, like in around here. Like you hear them always talking about uh, going off the Aleutian Islands here. Uh, I don't know if any people, anybody watched the show. It was pretty. I want to say huge, but at least it was interesting. It was like number one cable show for a very long time. And they've gone from that to just them and other channels like History or National Geographic channel, either having to do with people looking for gold or just living out in East Bumfuck. And things to keep in mind is usually when people live out in... Okay, so it was a little farther north, huh? Did it actually say... I'm not seeing like a sign like a camp or anything up here, maybe? Nope. But yeah, it's cool to see, like, people talk about, oh, they're just living out in the woods. It's, that seems so interesting. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that, number one, they let you buy a shed before winter comes. A lot of ominous, not threatening, but just being like, hey, watch out. Um, but actual people who live out in the middle of nowhere because they choose to. Like, I don't want to deal with people. I hate people. I want to be as far away from people as possible. Somehow just being okay with being, like, recorded for TV shows and documentaries, or not documentaries, but you know what I mean. Sterling Street. I, I, oh, Highway. Sterling Highway. Did I see the Sterling Highway when I was... Doing the first place, Isaac Walton State Rec site. I don't know. Ooh, there is a sign up here. We're in a kind of city. Way station. Hmm. Yeah, I got no, like, point of reference. See, like, the thing I was reading about Juno also is the entire, like, 
municipality of Juno now apparently is as big as like Rhode Island or Delaware. It's second biggest city according to size. 1950s ice cream parlor. Like if I have to pick a Oh, here we go. No, it's just a way station. If you ever come to the US and you see way stations, 99% of the time they're never open. Like I don't even know what they do. Okay, what do we got? Please. Um Alaskan quality log homes. Doesn't tell me anything. Senior center. Pull tabs. Oh. Oh, pull tabs. I guess that's the name of the bar. I didn't know if it was like a type of old bottle cap opener or those lottery lotto ticket type things you can get. Susie's Cafe is closed. I'm not getting anything here helping me figure out where we are. Report every dangerous driver immediately. Well, way to be a narc. I got a minute 30 and. Like, I'm probably going to default to Juno, but this is a state highway. State highway doesn't go through Juno because, as we said before, um, there is no road that goes there. So I think it would be safe to say Anchorage. And if not Anchorage, it could be Fairbanks. I don't know anything about, like, Gnomes, you know, the... In, like, this one and this one are the only places I know of in Alaska besides, like, Anchorage and Kodiak and Juneau. Kodiak's got all the bears there. Big goddamn things. Uh, let me see. Pioneer. A lot of close things. I bet, well, I can't say I bet it's seasonal because this seems to be... Is there a sterling? Maybe I should start looking for a sterling, then. I'm seeing sterling a lot, but nothing is uh, sticking out to me here. Like this is oh, this isn't like uh, yeah sterling. I feel that this has got to be. Uh, it's not Anchorage. It's got to be sterling. Here we go. Click. Where is Sterling Elementary? Huh? Oh, maybe we were. Sterling Highway. I'm going to click home and see if that gave me Werner Tesoro. Okay. Oh, that's the other thing also about... Oh, I had to go a little farther. Um, Alaskan citizens, at least for a while, I don't know if they're going to anymore. This is, number one, this is beautiful. <clears throat> number two, I'm going to get a atrocious score here. Number three, the road gave up right at this point. Um, Alaskan citizens, at least for a while, do get paid to live here. Um, since they're so abundant in, um, natural resources, a lot of like drilling and other oil companies will pay the state, I believe. If I remember exactly how the payment thing works out is they'll pay the state to be like, hey, can we... Drill for oil up here, and they're like, yeah, sure. Uh, you just got to give us some money. And they're like, all right, we'll do that. And I guess, I don't know if it's an incentive to keep people living in the state, to have people to actually uh, uh, work the companies. Let me take a sip. Or just people don't leave. You're like, yo, Alaska sucks. I'd, there's nothing for me up here. You'll be like, don't leave. Here's money. Um, like, if you ever watched the Simpsons movie, when they come to the border, they just gave them like 5,000 bucks. Is this a school or something? Like, it feels like they were going to make something, and they gave up before they even got to a parking lot. This is beautiful. There's an airport around here, I feel. Maybe this is an island? Like, I don't know. I'm going to get uh, just an atrocious score here. Um... But I do know that upon recently, there's been some budget issues with the state, and that might be one of the things that are actually going away, is their yearly pay-to-live-here uh, income. Pizza company, huh? I wonder how long that car's been there. 
So this is Harris SNG. That is a souped up truck. Look at those mud flaps. And I just want to like spend the next four well, minute forty just staring at this. Like I feel like maybe this is McKinley. Like I know it's not, but I don't know exactly where McKinley is. Hmm. I don't know if there's much else. Pollution Village. So I don't know if this is just paying homage to the Aleutian Islands or if it's actually part of the Aleutian Islands here. Hmm. I don't know. Hopefully something will uh, come to me here as we uh, apparently uh, like go into the road. Like it's doing that weird image thing sometimes that just Weirds me out. Okay, we do have a stop sign. Do we have a route or highway demarcation? Bike path closed. So they have bike packs. Man, this just looks so nice. Look at that. This is definitely a place I want to visit, but um, they do have pretty bad drug problem. As, you know, you could probably say a lot about most of America at this point, or at least rural. As rural as Alaska is. Mineral Creek Loop Road. I gotta make a guess. Um, just because it says Aleutian. I'm gonna say we're like maybe here. And hopefully I'm not too far away. This is just beautiful though. I really like how awesome all of this looks. How far away am I? Pretty far away. We were near. Valdez. Valdez Airport. Man, this is real nice, though. Okay, I don't know if that's actually where the oil spill was. Now, this one uh, might just go the same way as the uh, previous one. Like, this feels like Scandinavian road, just, you know, in the woods, in trees, with, with nothing to really look at. So I'm just clicking in one direction, hoping I can uh, maybe find something. Like, why make this? Is it like, okay, we're going to eventually make a logging road or a house there or something? I always wonder the logic behind that when they pave roads. And they actually kind of put like a um, little, I guess, off-ramp, you could call it. A street intersection. And this is straight lines of nothing. So I'm going to continue clicking forward, but I'm a bit thirsty. And I'm trying in vain to one hand open my kombucha. And I just got it, and I almost destroyed my hand with a cramp. God, that hurt. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm fully committed. i got to keep going forward here. Okay. Like maybe it's a four-wheeler trail, and it just connects over here. That looks like it would be fun. Maybe snowmobiling. Oh, oh, oh. We do have a sign. Let's see what this says. One more. One more. Chena River Basin. Public. Use cabin? Okay. That's what it said. I wonder if they actually do that in uh, the same way they do for some trails. Like uh, when I'm hiking, there's basically a single person sized, like, not so much a lean-to, but maybe a lean-to in the shape of a coffin. Colorado Lower Styles Creek Trailhead. That is a long-ass word. I don't know where the Col unless I don't think the Colorado River starts all the way up here, does it? No, it doesn't. That'll be dumb. How much road is down here? Nothing. Like I don't know anything. Where I'm gonna just click like here near Kenny Lake and hope that I can maybe. I feel like that's a public works vehicle. Does it say what this is? Probably the trail, the watershed or something here. 
No hunting. All right. Minute left. Got nothing. We are actually turning, though, so that's a plus. Alaskan license plate is pretty close to the, one of the New York ones where it's just uh, a weird marigold, I guess you could call it, with some blue lettering. I think it's the same colors as their flag, just, you know, inverted prominence where it's blue with that marigold star background. Man, I got I got nothing here. I'm hoping that's just probably saying no hunting again. So this is kind of what I thought a lot of the locations would have turned into here. Kind of just like a we're in Russia, who the fuck knows where we are type thing. Um this seems to be probably a route. Which one? I couldn't tell you, but it's a lot of nothing. Maybe we're like here in between chicken. Now we were up here near Fairbanks. Okay. In the Chena State River wreck area. Okay. No idea. But mm, I don't know. I don't think I did as bad as I thought I was going to be. Granted, I think super low bar for me is 15,000, but what are you going to do? It's Alaska. Great. Majestic place. It's wilderness, mosquitoes, meth. And snow. I don't know. Seems fun to me. Maybe I'll go sometime to visit. Don't think I'll stay. But for our sake, that's going to do it for your Monday. Um, come back on Wednesday and potentially Saturday or Friday for some more uh, geoguessing. If you do have any suggestions for maps, countries, states, locations, or it can be any other game you'd like to see me try or give a shout out to, um, put them in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as possible. And in the meantime, just because the week started, you've done this before. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. We'll get through this together. See you later.